Okay, so I'm going to play through each of the um, ornaments that we've talked about so far. Um, there are, I put uh, both the turn and the inverted turn, the trill, the mordant, and the inverted mordant, uh, four different types of grace notes, a fall, and a glissando. So you can hear what all of those sound like um, together. So a turn, remember it goes from the note, up a note, back down to the note, down a note and back up, all within the same key. So slowly, the turn that is written there, the first one, is G, A, G, F sharp, G. However, at tempo, it sounds like this. So the inverted turn is the opposite of that. So instead of going up first, I'm going to go down. So I'm going to go G, F sharp, G, A, G. So the inverted turn sounds like this. So again, a turn and an inverted turn. The next one on there is a trill. A trill, remember, goes from the note up a step in the key as fast as possible for as long as the note lasts. That's a trill. Pretty straightforward for that one. A mordant takes the note, goes up one step, and back to the note, and that's it. Again, that's a mordant. And then inverted mordant goes down instead of up. Again. Okay, and I put four different types of grace notes on the video or on the music. Uh, grace notes can come from above or below. Um, grace notes can have more than one note. So I put a duplet grace note. And I also put a triplet grace note. A fall starts on the note, gives the note a little bit of length, and then falls away from it. So that was not a great one. I'll do it again. So that time I stopped at an actual note, but you can actually just let the pitch bend and fall off as well. Kind of like that. Um, so if you're a woodwind player, you're going to start on the note and literally just go down, run your fingers down the instrument until the pitch falls off entirely. If you're a brass player, um, you can do that with the, the valves as well to get the, hit, the pitch to go down um, and then bend it down with your lips for the fall. So brass players hit the note, bend the pitch down with their lips while moving their fingers down, down a few notes. And again, one more time, the fall. That's it. Pretty straightforward. The last one is glissando. Glissando starts on one note and then uh, runs all the notes in between that, that note and the next note um, as quickly as possible through them. Uh, trombones can glissando just by moving their slide up. Every other instrument uh, has to try to play the notes as they are written. Um, brass instruments can sometimes kind of fake it by just moving their wiggling their fingers up and lipping up to the next note. But a D to G glissando on saxophone sounds like this. One more time. And that's it. Those are all the ornaments that we talked about. Thanks. And yeah, see you next time.